Hi, I'm Robert Wenig, and I'm the founder and CTO of Tea Leaf Technology. Today, I'd like to talk with you about how the web is changing from version 1.0 of the web to web 2.0 and even web 3.0, and what the impact and effect will have on our customers. So Tea Leaf today enables online businesses to actually see what their customers are doing online, how they're able to transact, what the barriers are, what the conversion ratios are, and what things are happening or not happening on their site in both real time and after the fact. Tea Leaf today provides visibility for online businesses into their customers' experiences. This visibility is mandatory for understanding why transactions are occurring at certain ratios, why they're not able to occur, what the barriers are, what the challenges are, and how customers are reacting to both content and performance issues on the site. Now I'd like to share with you our vision for the Tea Leaf Technology Roadmap as the web evolves from Web 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0. So let's start with Web 1.0. When I started the company in 1999, people could, from a browser, they could interact with a site, and from that site they could do transactions such as purchasing or check delivery status. In order to complete that transaction, the user would see a simple web page. That on the behalf of that web page, they would interact with web servers, web servers might interact with app servers, App servers might interact with databases, and app servers might interact with others, other services such as ERP systems. There was significant complexity in being able to deliver a correct user experience to these users in terms of reliable transmission of information, getting the right information, as well as creating the correct browsing experience. Today, we're in the midst of the Web 2.0 evolution or revolution. People are trying to make a more complete user experience, and to do so, they're they're attacking this on multiple fronts. One is, is to make the pages themselves more interactive, more rich content, and they're doing that through techniques that we call rich internet applications. You probably have heard of the term of AJAX and are aware of application development techniques using Flash, Flex, as well as enhanced experiences in the browser. To do that, applications are periodically requesting new information from the web server, app server tier, and automatically refreshing or updating the page without having to change, without having the user change which page they're on. In addition to making the user experience more robust through rich internet application techniques, applications are also going to be delivered to a multitude of platforms. Everyone, of course, is familiar with the new iPhone and other devices like that that allow me to project my applications onto a whole new host of devices. The last piece of the Web 2.0 evolution that's had a serious impact on the user experience has been service-oriented architecture. Most of you know that as SOA. And what SOA enables developers to do is to rapidly assimilate multiple information sources into one composite view for the end user. So what that may mean is that the user still sees a page of information, but that a page of information is being served by multiple, multiple app servers or ERP systems and brought together through a single portal-like interface into one page. So Web 3.0 is starting to happen now. There's going to be some really interesting challenges for us to face as both users and developers of interesting new applications. When we start thinking about an application service only being one HTTP call away and how that's going to affect, affect things, it gets really interesting. So we're, we're now used to content acceleration services, the Akamai's of the world, changing where applications are delivered from. They no longer necessarily come from the origin. But what, what happens in a, even in a single page? So let's take an example of a telco. And we're all, we're all familiar with the process of buying a cell phone. And when you go to buy a cell phone, there's perhaps a search button. And then here's a list of phones. You know, here's phone one, phone two, et cetera. And what we're seeing is that companies are looking for best of breed solutions and driving content from multiple domains, domains they may or may not own, and integrating the user experience together within the browser. So the search may come from a third party service. It could come from Google, it could come from Amateur, it could come from anywhere. The content and the pricing and the, the shopping cart may come from the true origin or the telco themselves. So in this example, when the user is interacting with the telco site, they, they believe they're interacting with www.telco.com. They're unaware that the search is provided by a third party. And the challenge to the business owner is that in order to understand the complete user experience, they need to have visibility to the total experience. If you're like me, many of you bank online. And one of the most important things you do with your online banking system, of course, is pay your bills. So when I log on to my bank and I click on bill pay, 
I'm sort of aware that I'm no longer interacting with my bank site. I'm aware that my bill pay is provided by check free, for instance. But when I have an issue or, or problem with my bill pay, do I contact my bank or do I contact check free? I have no contacts to check free, so of course I contact my bank. How can they solve my problems unless they understand my complete user experience? In an effort to capitalize on the customer, businesses tend to have multiple offers and products and services. For instance, every airline site has a credit card. It's little known, but many of these airlines make as much money from getting you to sign up for a credit card as they do from actually you booking a flight. So what happens in these sites is that there are multiple punch outs to other applications and services that they don't own or control. Yet there is tremendous pressure to make sure that experience is flawless because of the revenue, op revenue opportunities for converting you from an airline customer into a credit card customer. For Web 2.0, we already support replay of Flash and Flex and Ajax-based applications. As people continue to evolve their applications and take advantage of Web 3.0 technology, Tealeaf will be there for you. Let's look at the future value of Tealeaf across the network. As Web 3.0 applications begin to evolve and come to market, it's important that Tealeaf be able to capture, analyze, and replay distributed applications in the same fashion that we replay Ajax-based applications and Web 1.0 applications. Some of the fun comes in from taking advantage of the same infrastructure that our customers have. So for instance, the ability for Tealeaf to create syndicated events and templates that all of our customers can use and publish those on a regular basis. For instance, the ability to create understanding that is shared across a pipeline. So in a whole supply chain of the examples I talked about, airline to credit card provider, being able to share events across that pipeline and share the insight gleaned from those events. Some of our customers have figured out that Tealeaf is not just for capturing the front end of the user experience, but in addition, capturing what's going on across the back end. So remember we talked about how web servers talk to app servers. And now app servers are making other calls using SOAP or other acronyms like that to other companies' app servers. Since Tealeaf is the world's best HTTP sniffer and application, the ability to understand not just the front end experience, but being able to capture the back end calls is really necessary in a Web 3.0 world. So as I talked about, business models are evolving to take advantage of the functionality of Web 3.0. So this, the simple example of the punch out between an airline and the credit card provider, each side has a huge stake in making sure that transaction goes seamlessly. So being able to talk back and forth in addition to being able to replay that perhaps complete user experience of the distributed application. So for example, as I go from buying a ticket to looking at a credit card offering here, and this credit card offering is done by the, the other company's site, being able to signal back and forth, sharing the insight, letting me know that the user has successfully gone from airline to credit card site, and giving me beacons of information back and forth, let me know where they are in the process. Because if that's changing in real time, either for, for better or for worse, I need to know. One of our ex customers in the travel industry had significant relationships with airline partners and hotels. When challenges arose in understanding the transaction between the travel provider and their partners, they could see the net impact to their site in terms of conversion ratio. However, they couldn't answer the true question of why and what happened when the, when the customer went across to the partner site. The impact was interesting enough that the company then worked almost as our advocate to get their partners to get Tealeaf. Once the partner had Tealeaf, they had shared visibility and could have an easier time conversing and understanding the insight why transactions were completing or not. As a technologist, I always find it interesting to understand where things are going, how we're going to take advantage of that technology, and what the impact will be to our customers. In terms of the Web 3.0 evolution, the ability to deliver applications to new devices, to take advantage of multiple services, either content or content acceleration, and build new classes of applications out of these dynamic experiences. The challenge now is how to make sure that we're able to understand the complete user experience across this domain. Thank you for watching this today. I'm Robert Wenig, and your feedback is always welcome. You can email me at cto at tleaf.com. I look forward to continuing this conversation with all of you.